Thank you for joining us for our continued presentation of Syracuse Basketball's International Tour. The third game of four for the Syracuse Orange. The game Sadibe misses there. Guerrier able to collect the rebound. And what effort from the freshman diving to the ground and Elijah Hughes sinking the three ball to start things off for Syracuse. Because obviously they're going to want to shoot over the zone, but then you also want to protect the paint. So it's a lot of those guys figuring out how to work together. And Elijah Hughes stroking another three ball, a 37% three point shooter from a year ago. Again, Sienna does a good job getting back, but they still push it inside. Behind good look to Gary A, a couple of ball fakes, and then the lefty finish for the freshman. Uh, the person there in the corner wasn't quite defensively set in fast break. Elijah used his third triple of the first quarter, goes down. He's off to a hot start. He's not feeling that 6 a.m. local start. 40 the entire game against Iowa State, already on track for a little more than that, but that's not going to help. Throwing it away, Jalen Carey flushing it on the other end. Carey with the nose for the ball. Gambled a little bit playing the passing lane, but he went ahead and took that right to the rack. So Carey in attack mode on the other side. He's in double digits and one plus the harm. Jalen Carey, an excellent start. Our first question has been answered in resounding fashion, Carl. Jalen Carey came to play. We beat them, and I remember Scott Drew saying, you know, it's relatively simple, but we were able to get great passing out of the high post as Joe Girard III continues to show off some great shooting. Five three-pointers in his first two games combined, and now a six. Big opportunity here to go up against some guys who have been playing a different brand of basketball. Gerard the third, automatic from distance. Guerrier off on the triple in transition. Nice save from the Italian side, who are really running, but now throwing it away. Guerrier to flush it on the other side. Yeah, and that's sort of what you want to see out of him, a little display of athleticism. He reads the cross-court pass well, and. Yeah, they weren't going to try and stop him. Most of them older players is a good opportunity. Chance to run here. Braswell ahead of everyone. He's been cold all trip and an easy one there to get himself going. Facing the Syracuse program over the last couple of years, one of their biggest weaknesses is use fires from distance and Curie cleans it up with two hands. Block, those kind of things are good, but yeah, we talked about the three-point percentage and also the free throw percentage. Both of them not on par where Syracuse would want to be last year. They need to prove that this year. Good iron hitting on a deep one there, which every is the opponent will, but Edwards, he, he's certainly fascinating. Washington, a pull-up with ease. Jesse Edwards is saying how much he stands out with his Italians. It's true of the whole team. Is Gerard maybe the one guy who doesn't stand out physically of this group? If you've ever watched him shoot, that'll change quickly. Another three ball for him, his third, and he's well on his way to double digits. The chemistry in the offseason. Yeah, playing well at the end of the season is much better than playing well at the beginning of the season and losing that momentum. So as another three knocked down from the corner there, Syracuse approaching that century mark. So Syracuse wraps up a 69-point victory, 115-56 to over the Siena All-Star.